Determine all pairs of positive integers, for which there exist positive integers, such that the greatest common divisor of the two expressions, a to the n plus b and b to the n plus a, holds for all integers. This is problem two from the 2024 International Mathematical Olympiad. This number theory problem is a challenging one. Only 25% of the candidates were able to solve the problem. Let's break down the solution step by step. We need to find pairs of positive integers, a and b, such that the greatest common divisor for the expressions a to the n plus b and b to the n plus a stays the same for all values of n beyond a certain point. Let's try to plug in some values for a and b. First, we consider both a and b equal 1. Both expressions become 1 to the n plus 1. They always simplify to 2. So GCD is always 2. And it stays constant for every integer. Therefore, a equals 1 and b equals 1 is a solution. But we check if there is a solution when a and b are equal, but both are greater than 1. In this case, both expressions become a to the n plus a. When the value of n changes, GCD also changes and never stays constant. Let's consider another case where a is 1 and b is greater than 1. The expressions become 1 plus b and b to the n plus 1. We need to check if the GCD stays constant. Using the remainder theorem, when b to the n plus 1 is divided by 1 plus b, the remainder is negative 1 to the n plus 1. If n is odd, the remainder is 0. So the GCD is 1 plus b. If n is even, the remainder is 2. Since b is greater than 1, 2 is not divisible by 1 plus b, and thus the GCD is not 1 plus b. This means the GCD alternates with even and odd value of n, so it is not constant. We have to find all possible pairs of a and b. Now let's consider the GCD for two expressions using Euler's theorem. Euler's theorem states that if a and q are co-prime, then a to the phi q is 1 mod q. Phi q is Euler's totient function, which counts the integers from 1 to q that are co-prime with q. In this problem, we consider a number co-prime with both a and b. Let's say q equals a b plus 1, then q is co-prime with both a and b. For the first expression, as n increases, at some point, the expression becomes a to the phi q plus b. a and q are co-prime. a to the phi q mod q is 1. For n equals phi q minus 1, the expression is a to the phi q minus 1 plus b. We manipulate this expression to show it is divisible by q. Under mod q, a to the phi q is 1. So multiplying a to the phi q by b doesn't change the value. Taking a to the phi q minus 1 as common factor, we get 1 plus a b mod q. Since we assume q equal a b plus 1, the expression is divisible by q when n equals phi q minus 1. By similar reasoning, we can conclude that b to the phi q minus 1 plus a is divisible by q. Thus, the GCD of the two expressions is AB plus 1. By Euler's theorem, A to the phi q is 1 mod q. Multiplying any power of A to the phi q gives 1 mod q. As the value of n increases, the pattern repeats every value of phi q, meaning the GCD always contain q at some point. Since we need the GCD to eventually be constant, every term must be divisible by Q or AB plus 1. If Q divides these two expressions, it also divides the difference between them. Since Q and A are co-prime, Q must divide A minus 1. 
So we have A equals 1 mod Q. From the second expression, we get B equals 1 mod Q. Now we have every information to get the answer. Both A and B equals 1 mod Q. Then A to the N plus B equals 2 mod Q. Since Q is also the GCD, Q divides this expression. This is only possible if Q is 1 or 2. But since Q equals AB plus 1, and A and B are positive, Q must be 2. This leads us to conclude that A must be 1, and B must be 1, which is the solution.